Finally, the wait is over. In the November 24 update, Power BI got a new visual. I'm talking about the text slicer. This is a visual that I've been waiting for a long, long time. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it and take it from a simple filtering slicer to a search bar, just like you see on a website, for example. Here we have a basic report that shows sales information by industry sector, by areas, by sales manager, etc. Over here, I have a slicer that filters all the information based on areas. So let's transform this to the text slicer. Let's get rid of the title and see how it looks like. What you need to do now is search for the desired result. For example, area one. As soon as you press enter, all your data will be filtered by the search term that you used. If you want to search a new one, let's click on the X. Let's search for, let's say area three, press enter. And again, this filters all the sales information for area three only. But for example, if you would like to search for, let's say, flooring contractor or flooring in general, if you press enter, you get no information, which means you can only filter by one field at a time. This is one limitation that I really don't like. But of course, it's a big step forward. Now, this is the basic use of the text slicer. As you can see, it has its limitations. I don't know about you, but me personally, I would like to be able to filter on more than one field at a time. And I'd like to be able to use the search bar to search, let's say, the industry sector or the area and everything in the same text slicer. So here is what you need to do. First step into transforming this visual into a true search bar is to make sure we have a field that contains all the information that we want to search by. And on this occasion, I would like to search by area, by company code and by industry sector. But first, let me tell you a couple of things about this data set. You will see that I have two fact tables, one for sales, one for orders and a couple of dimensions, one for company, one for areas, one for industry sector, calendar, etc. Now, in order for this to work, I will need a table that contains one column with information on company ID, area name and industry sector name. And after I have that table, I need to somehow link it to the company dimension table. So after a couple of days of trial and error, I have found a way. And for that, we need to head over to Power Query. The one table that contains pretty much all the information that I need is the company, because we have the company ID, we have the area, and over here to the right, we have the industry sector ID. So here's what you need to do. First, duplicate this table. I will rename this as Fact Search. Now, of course, I will select the ID, which will be the key for this table, the company ID, the area, and the industry sector. Right click, remove other columns. Now, searching by company ID is pretty easy. We use the company ID. For the area, we already have the area and name, but for the industry sector, we have the ID, and I'd rather have the industry sector name. So, I'll merge this query and I'll merge it with the industry sector dimension table. The connection will be made via the industry sector ID. Click OK. After that, we need to expand this table. I will deselect the use original column name as prefix and only keep the industry sector. Once we do that, we need to delete the industry sector ID column as we no longer need it. Now, it's still not a single column containing all these attributes. So what we need to do is select all three columns, right click and unpivot columns. The attribute column contains the name of the columns that we've unpivoted, which we need to delete. And let's rename this value column to search. Once we've done that, let's hit close and apply. And you see that the new table has been added to our data model. Now all we need to do is link the search table to the dimension company table. And we will do that by linking the IDs. One thing that you need to do here is change the cross filtering direction from single 
to both. Why? Because we want to be able to filter the dimension company via the search table. Now that we've done that, let's go back to our report, select the visual, and instead of the field area name, we will go to the search table and use the search field. And now let's do a quick test. Let's search by area two, for example. Boom, everything is sorted. But we said we want to search by company code as well. So let's use AAF11. Boom, everything is done, working perfectly. But how about the sales by industry sector? Let's search for flooring, for example. Perfect exactly what we needed to do. Next, let's play a bit with the visual and make it look like a search bar. And the size and style, the background should be white. The visual border, we will choose a light gray. Let's do rounded corners, 30 pixels. As for padding, let's do 20 pixels on all sides. Next, in the input text, we'll change the placeholder to search. Let's make it ever so slightly bigger, 12 pixels. Then the applied text padding, let's do a 10 pixels across the board. The applied text background will change it to white or we'd rather change the transparency to 100. The applied text border is off, so we'll leave it as it is. Next, let's move to the input text box, remove the background, remove the border and remove the focus accent bar. All of a sudden, it looks more like a search bar. Let's make it a bit wider, place it to the left, and let's search something again. Let's go with architect. Well, it doesn't look exactly like I want. What I don't like about it now is the fact that the text is not centered. So let's go to the applied text padding, and let's change that to five pixels and see how it looks. Oh much better it is in line with the apply button but it's still not quite in the middle so let's try a two pixels looks a lot better and then we can go to the apply button icon and change the padding to zero and it looks a bit better so this is how you create a search bar by using the new text slicer. For more visual designs ideas, be sure to check my Power BI Designs playlist. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment. Until next time, this is Telian signing off. Cheerio!